Meet Daisy. We love our pets. Often so much it's easy to be convinced they're lost in profound, important thought. So just what are they thinking? We asked our resident animal lover, Martha Teichner, to investigate. Fenway, the Boston Terrier, is trying to figure out how to get at the treat hidden inside this puzzle. What's going on in his mind? If somebody asks you, is my dog smart like a human is smart, how do you answer that question? I mean, what, what's involved there? It's not fair or even correct to compare dog intelligence to human intelligence. The real question is, what is a dog good at? Hey, Truffles. About seven years ago, Dr. Gregory Burns, a neuroscientist at Emory University, had an idea. If he could train dogs to hold still in an MRI, a big if, he could get some answers. Truffles here is living proof it can be done. She's one of more than 100 dogs who've taken part in MRI experiments involving everything from facial recognition to self-control. Truffles is being shown two toys and knows giraffe means treat, whale, no treat. But what about photographs of the toys? That's what we're looking for, activity in that location. That's the reward center of the brain, right where it is in humans. The point? To find out if Truffles reacts to the toys and the photos in the same way. Get it, Truff, get it. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. This is another dog's scan. It's too soon to say because this is just one dog, but what that tells me is they're not literally seeing the two equivalently. They seem to know that one is a photograph and one is real. Right. Ah, oh, yum. Not to be outdone by a dog. Hi, Donna. Donna, a 38-year-old African elephant at the Oakland, California Zoo, makes the connection between a picture of a banana her trainer shows her and the real thing. That's important because if you can imagine an object in your mind, that means you can think about that object and plan around that object. Does Donna understand that that picture of the banana represents a real banana? Because that means that she can imagine that in her mind. Caitlin O'Connell Rodwell is an animal communication expert who studies elephants and teaches at Stanford University. The elephant has the largest brain per body size, bigger than the human. If size matters, and it does appear that size matters, then elephants could possibly be smarter than us. Elephants are so much like us. Watching them caring about each other, watching their politics. Elephant politics? Oh, yes, elephant politics. Gotta move in. As for communication, elephants understand us better than we understand them. Donna Foot. Behaviors Donna was taught to aid in her own care led to the Foot. banana test. That's what's so exciting about these cognitive experiments with Donna is that we can now ask her a lot of different questions. Donna understands English. Yeah, you're a real treat machine. So there's probably a lot more that she understands about language than we've figured out how to ask her. Thanks to technology, researchers are beginning to decipher dolphin language, the chirps and clicks that come from their blowholes. We looked at how mothers would retrieve their calves, which we can ask them to do on cue. Jill Richardson is a scientist at the University of Miami's Rosenstiel School of Marine and Atmospheric Science. Her work at the Dolphins Plus Sanctuary in Key Largo, Florida, has involved identifying each individual's signature whistle, which is like its name. This is underwater. Yes. So you see the hand, the cue, that the trainer is giving, and Ding is emitting a call. A variation of the mother's own signature whistle. And then Phoebe comes back. It's like a mom in a room saying, like, Jill Lauren, come for dinner. And then uh, the calf responds immediately. It's like having the first and last name. Exactly. My kids always know they're in bigger trouble when I use the first and last name. 
I really think we're scratching the surface. We know they're chatty. The next step really with their communication is learning how they might string acoustic signals together in different ways to have different meanings like syntax. Do dolphins speak in sentences? <sighs> These dolphins obey more than 50 commands. But now watch. This hand signal means create. Do whatever up. you want. Yay! Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> what have the dolphins taught you about humans? Oh gosh. Um, I think <laughs> the most important thing is that uh, maybe we're not as smart as we think we are. <laughs> and that it's definitely opened my eyes to how we put some constraints on our understanding of intelligence when it might be this much more colorful and broad experience for these animals. Intelligence we <laughs> underestimate because we don't know any better. <laughs>